Okay, after a lot of trouble getting this tram to work, I finally fa I found out what was wrong with it. It said texture could not be loaded from mesh. Uh, what I did was I used a special program to delete the texture from the mesh so, it, uh, so that um, the error would stop popping up. And uh, I'm not really sure which texture it was that wasn't working, but uh, you, you don't even really notice that it's gone. <laughs> so it must not have been that important anyway this is called the Moden tram I'm not really sure if it's a real tram because I can't find any real life versions of it and if you type Moden tram on Google images it'll ask you are you sure you weren't looking for modern trams <laughs> hmm it has really weird looking bogies though look at how look at the way look at how one wheel is shaped larger than the other and it's also weird that the bogies are on are underneath the middle of the car instead of the front and back. Wouldn't that make it turn a curve in a weird way? Hmm. One thing I like about this tram is that you can is that unlike most trams you download, you can actually go inside the passenger cars on this one. Most trams don't have that feature. You can only go inside the cab. So this is what happens when you blow the horn. Hmm. Most trams don't really have horns, they only have bells. So I find it weird that this one actually has one. This is what happens when you press the bell button. Not really sure what that is, so I'm going to pretend it's the door closed warning bell for now. <laughs> this sound that's the sound that you that that's the warning bell telling you the tram is about to depart so stand back but since it's part of the engine sound it actually operates when the tram is moving so it's not really much of a warning when you think about it <laughs> let's see how fast this can go Twenty two miles per hour and still accelerating. Thirty four and still accelerating. Hmm. 50 miles per hour. Sixty three miles per hour. That probably would have made it derail in real life. <laughs> Going around a curve that sharp at that speed. Okay, seventy three miles per hour. I'm not sure if there's a real tram that can go this fast. 78 miles per hour. It doesn't even really look like it could go that fast either because it's not really that aerodynamic. 82 
two miles per hour approaching a railroad crossing. You can't really do too long or so short and long if the horn, if you can't really control how long the horn sounds. <laughs> hey look, there's a TGV that I'm also testing. Okay, it looks like the top speed of this locomotive is 89. See that? That's how it turns a corner, and that's probably because of these weird bogeys it has. Underneath the middle of the car. That's weird. That's what a horn sounds like when you go outside the train. Well, there's another train I'm testing on this route. Also... Oh man, I forgot to give it a different cab, I forgot. Uh, I'll do that later though. Eh. It's really hard to see out the window with a train cab. <laughs> okay. That's weird. It can't fit underneath the... It can't fit underneath the crossing sign. That's probably because I didn't bury the track enough under the ground so that it fits, so that it drives on the road like it should. Yeah, okay, it's about to go around the curve. Again, the trailer does not turn a curve properly in this game. The game doesn't really understand truck physics. The truck doesn't really... In fact, for some reason the trailer actually seems to turn the opposite way that the truck is going. See that? This is, of course, very annoying for me because if uh, attaching the trailer as a separate vehicle doesn't make it bend around the curve properly, that really defeats the purpose of all that other stuff I did to get it to attach properly. But who oh will? It's my fault for expecting this game to understand how trucks drive. <laughs> This truck doesn't have to stop at the railroad crossing because it's not carrying hazmat. Oh wait, now it has to stop? <laughs> I'm not sure if it would be able to stop that quickly in real life. In real life, there's no way you'd be able to drive a train across a railroad crossing that quickly. There's, a, there's like a speed limit of 125 miles per hour. In pretty much any country, that's as fast as you're allowed to go across a railroad crossing. That's kind of fast for a tram. 90 miles per hour. Uh, it's so weird watching it turn like that. It's so weird.
think about it, I've actually heard trucks blow their horns where I work, and they never sound exactly like that. It sounds somewhat similar, though. But I can't find any horns on this game that sound like the real horn that I've heard. Okay, there's another train I have to test. Hmm. It looks kind of realistic inside. But I don't really see any cab signals. That's the only thing that's not realistic. I'm pretty sure the real one has cab signals. Yeah, not a. Oops, wrong button. Can't even blow the horn in time, it's so fast. Let's see what the horn sounds like with the Doppler effect active. to get this camera an angle. The only place where I've seen a railroad crossing that looks exactly like this one is in North Carolina. But I've never seen one that sounds like this. Oh, the other train triggered it too. Can't even really hear the horn from a distance. What does this horn sound like with the Doppler effect working? Let's see... Let me get this camera at the railroad crossing. Mm 
Hmm. Are the gates gonna go down in time? That horn doesn't really make much sense to me. Hmm. In fact, it doesn't really sound like a horn, a real horn to me. Like, I've never heard anything that sounded like that. <laughs> Sounds kind of fictional. Oh, the gates are still down for the other train. Hmm, that sort of makes me wonder what this horn sounds like with the Doppler effect. Let me see. What just happened? I, d I did nothing and it, it just went to black. What's going on? Now the screen's blue. What? What is this? Oh, I must have clicked on something by accident. Well, that's weird. You press the bell button there, you hear that sound of it backing up. <laughs> Hmm, why doesn't putting the camera at this angle all of a sudden make it skip? Oh, that's probably because the screen was off. That usually makes the game jumpy. This actually sounds good with the Doppler effect. I'm not really sure what railroad crossings look like in France or Germany. What was that? You almost can't really notice the Doppler effect. Uh, wrong button. Back up, back up.
Well, I got a lot other trains I have to test now.